Okay, so I'm here with Avatar Ras. Hello. 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 Um, and you have a show coming up, what, two, two dates of the same show? Uh, well, the first one is part of Festival of Debate, and it's part of a bigger event called Expressions of Protest, Journeys Toward Understanding. My Jerusalem. Um, I've been building it over the last year and a half and over the last three months um, I got a commission called Works Ahead uh, in Manchester with word of warning, contact and stun uh, and they've been working with me, mentoring me, uh, giving me some money um, and I'm I will have performed it in Manchester twice and then I'm going to be performing it at this Festival of Debate event and again in Migration Matters. Mm -hmm. And so My Jerusalem, uh, how, how, how literal a title is that um, and what's, what's it kind of all about? Well, um, I guess I came up with the, the title. So I grew up in Jerusalem um, and um, when Trump... Uh, recently, was it about a year ago, um, declared Jerusalem to be the Jewish capital of Israel. Um, it kind of annoyed me. Uh, I started thinking about, it annoyed me because, um, well, it was completely unnecessary it, and it caused a lot of demonstrations, which caused a lot of people to get killed, Palestinians mostly. Um, and, uh, I basically thought, like, who is he to be, you know, this is my Jerusalem, I'm the one that grew up there. And then I, I basically started thinking about um, how everyone has their own kind of weird projection about Jerusalem, every religion, um, and that's something that I touch upon in my show, um, how many Jerusalems there are. So this show is about my Jerusalem. Um, and my very, very ambivalent feelings towards it. And so your background, um, you're clearly no longer living in Israel. Um, yes. But uh, your background's mostly not as a theatre maker. Um, well, I actually, I did some theatre. Uh, I studied in the School of Visual Theatre in Jerusalem about 22 years ago. Um, did two years of that till an injury made me stop um, and then I've basically been a musician for the last 20 years, a singer-songwriter I studied uh, Indian classical music in Varanasi for six years um, and then I started writing songs uh, I have a classical music background before that um, and I'm also in Rafiki Jazz uh, World Music Band so I'm guessing we'll also be doing dates in Migration Matters. Um, will they? I'm not sure. We did. We headlined last year the opening night, and I don't think we're doing it this year. That's a that's a lacuna. Sam, get on it. Um, okay, so uh, yeah, singer singer songwriter for most of this time. And how much would you say the kind of storytelling of theatre and the storytelling that goes into your songwriting are similar or different? Ooh, um, yeah, well this actually, this project started from a song, a different song, um, called The Edinburgh Surprise, which uh, I won't completely tell you the story of, because it'll ruin the surprise, but uh, basically it, it's a song about a drunken one-night stand um, charged with p politics. Children rather wilted, too drunk to read a map. I was walking down on Edinburgh Street when a young man just fell in my lap. And though conversation was not necessary, we tried to have one still. He asked me, where did you grow up? And I told him Israel. Um, and the reactions that it got were very extreme. Um, I sang it in lots of gigs. Uh, in all kinds of inappropriate places, probably. Um, and 
Um, and this show that I'm doing now, uh, before that it was a 20 minute show, uh, that was basically that song cut into little pieces, um, with stories between it. Um, so yeah, I probably know more about songs than I know about theater in that sense. Um, but I've always, my songs have always been very kind of storytelling, so it doesn't feel like a huge jump. You said, come have some wine with me, I live just five minutes from here. And though he was a strange man in a strange city, I didn't feel any fear. We were walking through those foreign streets, I was laughing and tripping everywhere. I asked myself, is this a good idea? But I was too drunk to care um, So what was, what was the job this time? So you've got the support of uh, an organisation in Manchester. So what's that process been like? Um, it's been amazing, really. I've, I don't think I've ever gotten this much attention from a team of people in my life. Um, I've got a dramaturg called Peter Kirk that um, he lives in London, but he comes up and uh, works with me for sometimes full days. Um, and they've given me rehearsal space, uh, lots and lots of advice and mentoring and helped me uh, uh, put in an arts council bid, which was successful. Um, and now we're nearing a production week for the Manchester show. Uh, so there's going to be um, a lot of tech stuff. Uh, they're helping me with media stuff as well. There's a lot of video in the show as well as a uh, live performance. Mm -hmm. And so ha have you found that kind of uh, that process of having lots of eyes on your work, uh, criticism, uh, not always necessarily positive? I don't know. Has that been alien and difficult compared to being a song songwriter for 20 years um it's been interesting uh i've i've found there was a, a a crisis point where um i they sent me an edit to my script that i didn't particularly feel was what i wanted to do and uh it kept me up all night uh but then uh, I managed to sell them the version that I was thinking and we kind of made some um, adjustments to it. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, they're all... Uh, they they basically wanted it to be the best show it could be and uh, they all have lots of years of experience. Uh, so, um, and now, like the last time... Um, in fact, yesterday I was in Manchester working with uh, Peter and... Uh, we did worked on staging, and um, I really needed a lot of help with that because I'm used to sitting on a chair with my guitar and playing mostly, um, and moving around on stage is really foreign to me. So uh, that was great to have someone else helping me with that, uh, giving me cues. Um, Maybe going back to your original theatre training, uh, what was what was that like and what was the what was the injury that ended it all oh um it was amazing apart from the fact that i was 18 uh i was the youngest uh student in the school and it was a, a school of um kind of very bold live art uh people did a lot of every year one person would end up sectioned um at least that is bold. um <laughs> People would do all kinds of things that were kind of borderline self-harm, like cr cl um, crawling naked on glass and that kind of thing, which um, I found all the teachers as well were artists um, that were, you know, working and performing and having exhibitions, uh, which was very different from the music academy I went to, which all the teachers were kind of um, failed musicians. Um, so it was very exciting. We could even uh, smoke in class. Um, but I did this uh, this piece um, that there was a kind of weird dance I did that I kept falling on my knees. 
um, and I was kind of encouraged that it's very, very bold. Um, and then at some point I couldn't get up because I tore my um, a ligament in my knee. So I couldn't walk for six months. I had to move back in with my parents. And I basically told myself, I'll come back to this later in life when I'm kind of more mature. And so it's taken about 20 years. But now I have... And the knees are holding up. The knees are all right so far. I'm not doing any um, any dancing in this one, thank God. And so what's the, the first event that um, you're staging My Jerusalem as part of in Sheffield? What's that? Um... Right, so that's part of Festival of Debate. It's going to be in Sheffield Hallam Performance Lab. And it's actually um, an event I've organised with a friend of mine called... Uh, Danny Abulhawa, who's a lecturer at Hallam University in performance. Um, she, um, she will be giving a talk uh, called Expressions of Protest. Um, she is a British Palestinian. Her father grew up in East Jerusalem, while I grew up in West Jerusalem. Um, and we met about a year ago, I think. Um, and we've been finding it very, very interesting to talk about our heritage, our politics. Um, and we wanted to have um, a show together. Um, I actually did some music for a short film that she will be screening at this event um, called The Slide. Um, and we're going to have a panel debate uh, with another friend called Muhammad Galiani, who grew up in Gaza, and another friend called Sarah Spies, who grew up in South Africa. And we're going to be discussing uh, BDS, which is Boycott, Divestment and Sanctions, uh, in the context of South Africa and Israel, and debating uh, what is similar, what is different. Uh, I personally don't support the boycott um, and we're going to be talking about that um, but I think it's a really interesting thing to debate and I think that's what Festival of Debate is for. Yeah, absolutely. There are yeah. musical elements uh, to My Jerusalem. Um, so there's basically three songs. One is uh, called the Edinburgh Prize, which um, is uh, which I've mentioned before, and then there's another song called "You Are My Jerusalem," and uh, there's another song that I do a cover of, um, which was released in 1989 by Chava Alberstein, who is a Israeli singer, and um, Rafiki Jazz also have just uh, recorded a version. Um, when it was released, uh, she, it was banned on Israeli radio and she got death threats and had to leave the country for a while, uh, basically because she took a um, traditional Passover song, Passover being the festival of spring. Um, uh, it's a Passover song that Jews sing every year um, in Aramaic. Uh, and it basically goes, our father bought a goat for to Zuzim, and then the goat was slaughtered by a cat, and the cat was beaten, bitten by a dog, the dog was beaten by a stick, the stick was burned by fire, the fire was extinguished by water, the water was drunk by an ox, the ox was butchered by a butcher, and the butcher was slayed by the angel of death. Um, and then the second part of the song, she turns it into a political song, um, and she sort of asks, when will this cycle of terror end? Um, and she says, I was a sheep, then I became a wolf. Um, and it was, and basically said that Israel's lost its way. Um, and I think that's still a very, very important song. Not much has changed, unfortunately, since 1989. Uh, maybe things have gotten worse. Um, and yeah, the show is basically about who is the victim, who is the abuser, who is the victim, um, because I think that's a very, very important motif in Israeli identity, 
Um, there's this kind of a uh, um, constant thought about uh, being a victim, and then that victimhood allows um, abuse of someone else. Um, I think it wasn't dealt with properly, uh, and it's used in a very, uh, very cynical way, really. Um, so yeah, without giving too much away, I guess that's, that's what the show is about. Yeah, I felt very compelled to do this show, um, because I feel like the whole question of Israel, Palestine, um, people tend to be very black and white about it. Um, and there, there are a lot of voices on both sides, uh, that are full of hatred and paranoia. And I guess what I would like to do, um, and I have a few Palestinian friends that feel the same, is to try and build a bridge. Um, I grew up um, as a Israeli leftist uh, on the extreme left, but still in Israel. Um, and I believe that um, the only way to change things is to kind of support the Israeli left because ultimately they're the ones that might change Israeli policy. And also I believe that despite um, all kinds of horrible things that I'm not denying that are going on, they're definitely going on, uh, the only way to end and this cycle of terror is to try and understand each other and um, yeah, basically get past the fear, get past the hatred um, and really start moving towards changing things together. Grand. Um, and so your first date in Sheffield is 24th of May? Yes, 24th of May at Sheffield Hallam Performance Lab, uh, part of a festival of debate event called Expressions of Protest, Journeys Toward Understanding. Um, and I'm also doing it on June 20th um, as part of Migration Matters Festival. And what's the venue for the June 20th? Uh, it will be at Theatre Delhi, but I don't know if they've started publicising yet. Grand.